Don't do it. I can't bloody swim. Don't do it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this week's episode of War Games Geek. I've been asked how I use the Quickshade. And although it's been around for some time now, there's a, a number of different ways to apply it. I'm working on a unit of American Civil War Confederate Infantry, so I'll show you how I use the dip. First of all, what you need is a few tools to help you uh, so you don't get covered in the stuff because it is a, a bit of a bugger to get off. So I use an old pair of grips. That's for holding on to the uh, miniatures so that I can dip them into the uh, pot of quick shade. Uh, this is a demonstration there, but obviously take the lid off first. It doesn't do your figures much good otherwise. Um, the other thing you're going to need is uh, quite a bit of uh, kitchen towel or so a decent absorbent towel, um, which I place the miniatures on and just take off the excess of the quick shade dips. Otherwise, they can get a bit caked up in it and um, it can kind of spoil the figures if, you, if you're not careful with it. So the next thing you'll need is a piece of cardboard, or in this case, I've got a little bit of old offcut of foam core uh, just to put the figures on when they uh, whilst they're drying uh, as I've mentioned already it's quite a messy uh, job so do be careful of that and then and this is probably the most important part of using the quick shade is a real thorough shaking of the tin if you don't do this what will happen is you'll end up with uh, hardly any of the strong tone color on the figures to begin with and then as you get deeper into the tin uh, the, the figures will start getting darker and darker and darker so do make sure that you give it a real thorough uh, shake up uh, I'm just using a screwdriver just to lift the uh, lid off the tin now and um, then I'll be sort of ready to start dipping the figures into it and um, so there we are there's the tin of quick shade what you've got here do, uh, do read the instructions um, it talks about dipping you can brush it on you can do all sorts of different things uh, ways of getting it onto your figures uh, some people I've seen sponging it on um, for me I, I like to give them a good coating uh, so either dipping them or uh, brushing it on and then just make sure you use a, a decent sort of uh, washing up liquid to wash the brush out afterwards because it will, it will completely ruin the, the brushes otherwise. So, um, so here we are then, so we're ready to start the dipping process. This is one of the Confederate infantry figures, I've just gone over him in base layer paints, no highlighting or dry brushing at all and what I do is I put a small piece of blue tack under the base of the figure so that after he's being dipped in the quick shade um, he can be uh, secured to the foam core off cut um, so that he won't sort of fall over so in in you go shake off the excess drips uh, make sure you get as much of that off as you can it's expensive stuff so you know we don't want to waste it um, and then once we've done that so you give it a couple more shakes and then I just lay him onto the uh, tissue there so as you can see quite a lot of that's come off already now if you left him like that it would still be fine but it would have a really heavy um, shade on it so I just dab off the excess and um, just turn him over try not to get it on your fingers you can use gloves for this if you want to um, that wouldn't hurt uh, I haven't got any so I just have to wash my hands thoroughly afterwards so there we are that's the first one uh, that's been dipped so as I say what I'm got is this blue tech underneath I just push it down and then the um, quick shake and then just uh, soak into the recesses there whatever's not uh, doesn't soak in will just run down and just form a sort of very small pool at the bottom there and once the figure's based you won't see that at all so that's the first one uh, done so that's the, the process that I like to use on figures that are um, a, a decent sort of small scale uh, you can now see my uh, next problem is, is that I've got a whole uh, unit to do here so um, I won't show you all of them being done but there is quite a few here all of these have just been done with a single base layer of paint the quickest way I've found to do the confederates is to spray them with um, the army painter uniform grey uh, you'd think I'm getting paid for this I'm not um, but <laughs> Uh, yeah, use the Army Painter Uniform Grey to spray them all. It's an undercoat spray. And then what you can do then is just pick out um, bits that you'd like to highlight on the figures. So you could do some of them with blue denim jeans. This chap, very minimum, just it's completely grey. That's the Uniform Grey. I've just done his boots, his rifle, the skin colour and his sort of bedroll. 
and a couple of other bits on that. So it just takes uh, saves an awful amount of time. So again, we've dipped him in. Just shake off the excess. There'll be a few big globs to come off to start with. Uh, but once they're off, uh, give them a couple more shakes. And once we've done that and we're happy, then what we do is we then just, again, drop him onto the kitchen towel. And there he is there. Just going to put the pliers down for a second out the way. And as I did with the previous one, literally just dab it off. Get off the excess. Don't rub it off. Just dab it. Um, and then what we've got is the next chap is now done. And you can see the blue tack on the base there as well for this chap. So what I'll do is then once that's all done, I'm going to just pop him onto the foam core as well. Push it down just so that he stays there. What we don't want is we just don't want them falling over. If, if you, they fall over and they dry when they're on their back, then what you'll get is a big glob of this brown and uh, you won't pick up any of the detail on the... Um, on the uniform at all. So this chap, as I say, he's got some blue denim jeans on. Uh, I've given him a bit of colour on his hat as well. So, uh, you know, with the Confederates, you know, mainly that sort of grey colour, um, but uh, they weren't as well equipped as the Union troops. M most of the Union troops, if not all the Union troops, will all be wearing that sort of darker blue colour and it was a standard uniform, whereas the Confederates didn't have the, the funding. So, um, so they uh, sort of had to do, make do with what they had. So uh, these are nice and easy. The Union troops, I think, would be even easier because it's literally just one colour and then you'll be picking up the rifles and the skin colours and that sort of thing. So, yeah, my advice would be to take your time with this. There's no rush, so just prepare the area you're going to work in. Make sure you've got everything you need, some cardboard to put the figures on once they've, they've been dipped, your kitchen towel to take off the excess. Uh, if the weather's nice, unfortunately it's raining here at the moment, but if the weather's nice, what I've also seen is um, once you've got the figure in the grips like I'm, I'm holding them there, uh, if you do it outside, you can literally just give it a real vigorous sort of shake, uh, sort of two or three really big sort of shakes just to get the excess um, dip off, and that, that works just as well um, as uh, just uh, sort of dabbing off the excess, which is what I'm doing here. So that's the unit general dipped in the shade. As you can see, there's a bit of excess on his back. So I'll just tap that onto the uh, kitchen towel there just to get that off. Um, and then I'll fix him to the uh, oh, uh, to the foam core at the back there by the little bit of blue tack on the base there. It just helps, as I say, to prevent them from falling over. I'm not gonna do the whole unit. What I'll do is I'll just show you the standard bearer. So that's him there, all just base layer painted. And I just need to get hold of the grips and we'll stick him into the quick shade. This is just about deep enough, this tin of quick shade, for the standard bearer and the flagpole. If you've got a, uh, something that doesn't fit all the way in, then there's nothing to stop you from using an old brush and just uh, brushing it on to the areas that can't fit into the tin. Some things you'll do, like tanks, for example, they won't fit in there. So again, we'll just brush, brush it on, nice thick layer, brush it on shake it off to get off the excess like I'm doing now, but obviously you need to use either your hands, so stick some gloves on for that to shake off uh, bigger uh, tanks or monstrous creatures, that sort of thing. So there we are, so I'm just wrapping him, uh, dabbing the uh, kitchen towel on him, and just lift him up and show you. Oh, I've got the shakes a bit, oh. Okay, so that's him, and we'll just put him on the foam core with the others uh, and start the uh, leaving there for, to, to, to dry. So with the drying time, it says it's 24 to 48 hours for the quick shade. I always leave it a minimum of 48 hours um, to make sure they're really dry. What I've found in the past, and I've done it uh, with some Romans I had, I've done a whole unit of Romans, really pleased with them. Uh, the quick shade wasn't quite dry. And then when I sprayed them with the matte varnish, it gave like a sort of it's hard to explain, like a misty, milky colour over the top, and they looked absolutely horrendous, uh, and there wasn't an awful lot I could really do with those. So um, I think in the end what I did was, once the matte varnish was dry, I quick shade dipped them again, then left them to dry thoroughly, and then uh, applied the matte varnish. So just be careful with that, um, because you can come unstuck. I spend all this time putting these figures together for them to be ruined by... Um, not uh, waiting until they're dry enough before putting the matte varnish spray on. So this is the whole unit now done. They're ready. 
Uh, there's a closer look here. So they're all, these are now dry. They've been uh, drying for, uh, actually I've left them for about three days. So they're dry, but you can see they're really shiny. So that's what happens with the quick shade. It does leave them very, very shiny. But you can see how the quick shade has sunk into all the recesses and uh, on the trousers, for example, and gives the characters a decent bit of depth. So what's left to do with these guys now is they need to uh, be sprayed with the matte varnish. They need the bases doing. Uh, and um, so with that, I'll do some um, dry brushing on the bases. I'll show you that. And then the standards need to be fixed to the flags for this unit as well. So a little bit left to do. And with the magic of uh, camera, this is the uh, end result, which I'm really, really pleased with. So what I've done here is I've used the matte varnish, the uh, Army Painter matte varnish uh, on all of the figures there, just giving them a, a good dusting of, of that. As I say, the importance there is just make sure everything's really dry uh, before you do that. Otherwise, you get that sort of milky, horrible sort of uh, appearance on the figures, which is uh, horrendous. So, uh, yeah, once that's really dry, I've uh, done the matte varnish. Once that dried off, I've then used um, some grit on the base, which I've PVA glued on, and I've uh, waited for that to dry. And then I've gone over the bases with some Monster Brown, and then uh, once that's all dried off, I've then uh, dry brushed uh, mummy robes over the top of the of the mud. And then the last stage was then to uh, dab some PVA glue around and add some of the static grass and these uh, sort of yellow and white flowers uh, that um, are growing wild on this sort of field that these uh, confederates are marching across. The very last bit then was to use some uh, standards or flags and those I've used uh, from the Battle Flags um, website and that's the Van Dorn Battle Standard, the, the red background with the half moon and then the 13 stars which represented the confederate states. So that's it all done uh, and ready for, uh, for gaming. I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, found it informative and useful and uh, maybe you'll go ahead and use some quick shade dip yourself if you don't already. I uh, do appreciate all your support and as always please do subscribe, like, comment and thanks very much for watching.